Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. May oppose commerce on Sabbath and required observations of the Sabbath. Blue laws. Everyone desires Sabbath rest. Talk about Sabbath laws and blasphemy laws. I guess I would argue for re restoring Sabbath blue law. The Sabbath and the sacred Sabbath and obscenity laws. Would be like Sabbath laws. It has to be by force. When we take power, they need to be given the death penalty. And these people that are suppressing the name Christ and suppressing Christianity. They want Sunday laws. This will be a Catholic planet, they say. Brother Sun will rule the world. Welcome, dear friends, to TIBP Media. Kindly share this timely prophecy update to all of our friends. As they say, all roads lead to Rome, and the Antichrist is doing everything to convert the world to the Laudato Si, one world religion. He already has the Muslims, he has the Buddhism world, and the Protestants, and most of all, Lutherans bow to him. The protest is over. His push for a mandatory Sunday rest is unstoppable. Papal Supremacy on Twitter. Papal Supremacy June 30, 2024. His Holiness Pope Francis is the leader of 1.38 billion Catholics. The earth will become a Catholic planet. The word Catholic simply means universal. Does Bible prophecy reveal that this planet will be Catholic? Will there come a time that the whole world will embrace Vatican policies? We will answer it shortly. Let us first hear what J.D. Vance said that has caused quite a stir in social media. NewRepublic.com says, Voters have a right to know what Kevin Roberts' disturbing book says. J.D. Vance wrote the foreword to Dawn's Early Light. The rest of the book outlines an even more troubling vision. Kevin Roberts, the president of Project 2025, August 10, 2024. Policies that encourage religious observance, such as Sabbath laws and voucher programs that include religious schools, should be encouraged. So any faith is fine. But here in America, Christians get precedent. All should observe the Sabbath, but the Sabbath he clarifies elsewhere is Sunday. Jews and Muslim will just have to deal. But the truth is, friends, the Jews adore the papacy already and have united with Vatican policies. The Jews are deceived into looking into building a third temple and Protestants and Evangelicals are excited about this false prophecy. Looking forward to a future Antichrist, they have built a massive altar for a purification ritual of the Red Hypers, a blueprint for the Third Temple construction, believing that a secret rapture would happen and a seven-year tribulation based on misinterpreted texts. Will the earth become a Catholic planet? Muslims have reconciled and become one with the papacy. Pope Francis and Grand Imam of al Shasar have signed a declaration of support for urgent climate action, giving video addresses to COP28 in Dubai. The Muslims have joined the Sunday movement long time ago. Revelation 13 verse 3, And all the world wander after the beast. There is this statement, dear friends, that made me wonder. Rome says, People who think that the sole authority is the Bible should logically become, meaning without a shadow of a doubt, there would be no other choice. They should logically become Seventh-day Adventists and keep Sabbath holy. Rome's biggest problems are not the Jews. Rome's biggest problems are not the Muslims. They are Seventh-day Adventists. Why? Because the Seventh-day Adventist Church is the only movement on planet Earth that preaches the three angels' messages. If anyone worships the beast and his image and get his mark with his forehead on his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. Time is fast fulfilling 
and approaching that even the so-called Protestants will abandon their stand and the law of God altogether and will be compelled to keep the policies of the Pope. Catholic Answers, a media ministry dedicated to defending Catholic teachings, stated on July 21, 2024, that Seventh-day Adventists are wrong to observe Saturday as the day of rest. They stated in a published public article that Adventist doctrine is false according to the Bible. Going a step further, Catholic Answers cites the Catholic Catechism to support its claim that although the Fourth Commandment is no longer legally binding, we must continue to observe Sunday as the Lord's Day. They say, Seventh-day Adventists claim that we as Christians are still bound to keep the Sabbath. That's to say we must worship God on Saturday. But Paul's teaching in our second reading proves otherwise. Paul teaches this elsewhere. Consider Colossians 2 verse 16. There Paul writes, No one pass judgment on you in questions of food and drink or with regard to a festival or a new moon or Sabbaths. So Seventh-day Adventist claim is falsified by Paul's teachings. Dear friends, the Ten Commandments of God is not Moses' law. It is God's law written in the tablet and transferred in the heart and in the mind in the new covenant that the handwriting of ordinances that was against us verse 14 is not the decalogue and further that the weekly seventh day sabbath is not a shadow of things to come verse 17 the festivals the new moons the annual sabbaths day of pentecost passover feast of tabernacles and many more others includes the meat and drink offerings celebrated in those days are the ones referred to in Colossians 2 verse 16. In fact, God's word expressly distinguished the annual Jewish festivals from the weekly seventh-day Sabbath or Sabbath of the Lord. Isaiah 58 verse 13 says, If thou turn away your foot from the Sabbath, from my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight. Question, according to the gospel prophet Isaiah, what is the Lord's day? The Sabbath day is the Lord's day. Tragically, Catholic answers provide no real Bible to validate the keeping of Sunday. They simply quote from the Catholic Catechism, establishing doctrines based on man-made traditions rather than scripture, is not biblical and contradicts the teachings of Jesus Christ. The three angels' message, dear friends, is the gospel that is needed for this final generation. This is God's warning to this perishing world. Dear friends, would you like to be a co-laborer in God's vineyard, proclaiming the true gospel in the final days. Kindly type our decision, God's law is my priority. Thank you, dear friends, for watching TIBP Update, and may we continue to share truth in Bible prophecy.